today I'm opening up a $1,000 Funko Pop mystery box. You heard that right, a thousand bucks. But before we get into this, you know what we gotta do? We gotta reach into our appetizers first because we can't just go straight into a thousand dollar mystery box. We gotta have to warm this video up just a little bit. So what I have here, this is a box from Chrono Toys. What's in here should be $20 mystery boxes. More than likely, maybe 25, probably 20. So I don't have any of just like the single ones that they ship out because they, they stopped doing the Challenger series boxes a while ago now and I'm out of those boxes. So now we're just gonna have to create smaller, not smaller, but individual boxes from the bigger box. So this has four mystery boxes in it. We're going to do two in this video. I gotta save some of these appetizers for a future video. Can't do them all in one video because I have another $1,000 mystery box to do still after this one. Gotta save those, those two. So here we go. These are probably around 20 bucks a piece, you know, plus shipping. Chrono Toys. So what can you get out of these boxes? You can get decent stuff out. There's always a few grills available. They're incredibly hard to hit, but they are there. If somebody's got to get them, hopefully, maybe I get one out. But if not, pretty much, this is guaranteed value most of the time. Of course, prices do fluctuate because this was actually shipped back on, actually just August 27th. It's very, very new box, actually. Here we go, first one, okay. We have a Drummer McNugget. This is the 2021, this was the, uh, oh, this was the, uh, that Funk on um, Virtual Con with Funko. Let me go ahead, pull up that PPG value, see what it's looking like. So Drummer McNugget, I'm not sure if this is the shared sticker or the con sticker, because really, there's no difference between the two because there was no convention. But some people still will pay a premium for a convention sticker that did not exist doesn't matter to me whatever you want to pay this actually coming in at 34 but okay, this one is the shared sticker the con sticker actually says the word virtual on it so there was no convention but a lot of people love their stickers i get it i get it things that i collect little little differences can be vastly huge in terms of value i totally get it here we go. And as a flipper, as a reseller, I will happily sell the convention sticker that didn't have a convention attached to it for a higher price. I have no problem. Here we go. Last warm up. We have Ang Spirit. So this is, I think, originally was a box launch exclusive for the US. This is the overseas sticker, probably from like pop culture. Coming in at 40 bucks. Hey, that's not bad. I'll take that. Those first two boxes, I actually did pretty well on those. So those other two appetizer boxes, those those two might only like break even at value, I bet. <laughs> Probably. So this one was called the Insane Grail box. A thousand bucks a box. Only 10 boxes. Top hit is a Mystery Freddy Funko limited edition, only 24 pieces. That's the top hit. But you don't even know which one it is. A Mystery Freddy limited only 24. Then you've got a DC Grail limited 108. That would be either the Batman or the Harley Quinn uh, Hot Topic employee exclusive that came out several years ago. I've had them a few times. That's I guarantee that's what that one is. And then the Freddy Funko limited to 96 pieces. Four to six pops in each mystery box. These are coming double boxed. You're guaranteed one pop value at at least $600 and a total box value of at least $950 the day of packaging. So you're guaranteed at least 950 bucks. So you can lose 50 bucks a box. And of course it says not all are gonna be in mint condition. Some can have some minor wear to them. That's mystery boxes. Here we go. Let me see what I got. Double boxed for our goodness. That's what that's looking like. Pull back the bubble wrap. Here we go. Okay, okay, small disclaimer. I have several boxes right now from the Nerdy New 
I'm 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 guessing this is the thousand dollar box. It's numbered number thirteen. No, it's had me wonder if this actually isn't a thousand dollar box. If it was one of the three hundred and fifty dollar boxes, it's got me wondering now. But we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. Um, here we go. This might actually be not what I think it is. Because I think for the 10 boxes, I bought, I think I bought three of them. I bought box three, box four, and box seven. This is number 13, so this actually might not be the $1,000 box. I bought three or four that were $350 boxes. This might have been one of the $350 boxes. But we'll, we'll find out. If the value is under $950, then obviously um, I got confused on which box I had in front of me. Let's find out. Let's find out. Okay, open it up. Got a little card right here. We got a sticker. Okay, I don't want to peek. I feel one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I feel six pops. There's no hard stacks in here. I do feel six pops. Like I said, there's only one. There's three pops of protectors and three pop no pop protectors. So with with no pops in a hard stack, I think I actually messed up. This is probably the $350 box that I purchased. Because I have right right over here in front of me, I have two boxes that cost $250 from like back in June. Down here on the floor next to me, I have a box that I'm pretty sure it was was one of the thousand dollar boxes. And then, yeah, there's a 350. I might have gotten confused. This happened to me before in boxes. First one we've got Honey Smacks. This is just a very cheap, just a common pop right there. Nothing crazy expensive. Nothing, nothing major. Next one, no pop stack. Oh, we got Black Widow. This is the Entertainment Earth exclusive. Oh, this is the one that came with like a, like a pack of trading cards in there. It's the same release, just with the Entertainment Earth exclusive sticker and a pack of trading cards. Okay, third one, no protector. We got Mickey Mouse. Holiday Mickey. Okay, so first three, I don't see any major damage on them. Here we go. First one that is in a soft pop protector. The back says Stan Lee. Oh, we've got a 2020 SDCC. This is the con sticker. No, there actually was no convention in 2020, but it is the con sticker. Stan Lee Iron Man. I'm not sure what that one's really worth, though. I'm not too sure. Here we go. Pop number two. Well, we got a Tom Brady. Is this one of the older Brady's? One of the Grails? I think it might be, actually. 20... What was it 2016? This is actually, I think, one of the very much older, uh, more expensive Tom Brady's. Here we go, last one. Yeah, I think this is only a $350 box. Red Reddington Blacklist. Yeah, it wasn't a thousand dollar box. I messed up. Let's see some value. First pop holiday Mickey is worth nine bucks. Next, we got the Black Widow Entertainment Earth exclusive is worth 13 bucks. Third pop, Honey Smack at Icon coming in at 10 bucks. Red Reddington, he's actually coming in at $120. Wow. Didn't know it was worth that much. Next one, Stan Lee 2020 SDCC con sticker, you know there was no convention, is worth $90. Not too bad. Last one, we got Tom Brady. 2016 Tom Brady Wave 2 coming in at 105 bucks. So a grand total for this, $347. So this was the $350 mystery box. I was wrong. So I remember back with the $350 mystery boxes. I thought I, I opened them all, but it looks like I had one left still. So I have I have another thousand dollar box, this one and, a, and another one in here somewhere. You can't see it, but I have probably a hundred mystery boxes. Dating back to 2018. I don't know where I put it. I got to do some digging now to find it. But what's funny, this is actually the most expensive pop in this box. So I think the $350 boxes that they sold back in August was like guaranteed of like $325 or something like that. So got my full value back. 
So this is the beauty of recording videos blindly, not knowing what's in the boxes. Sometimes you mess up on what you're even opening up. But it wasn't a thousand dollar box, it was a $350 box. Mistakes happen, but that's okay. We'll push through this, we'll be okay. So thanks for watching. I pretty much broke even, so I'm good with that. So I'll see you next time.